What's up, Greg, and welcome back to another episode of Mmm, Daddy Wanna Bang. Uh, gross. Guys, today we're going to be talking about what I can only describe as the Bang Cinematic Universe. Over the past couple years, I'm sure a lot of you have been accosted by ads for this energy drink called Bang. I think it's a pretty popular energy drink. I know I've seen it at like my local Target before, and I think it's generally marketed as more of like a health conscious energy drink. It's supposed to have like better ingredients, healthier, more natural stuff, I think. I don't know why it's called Bang. I guess, you take one sip and and you want to explode. You want to you want to go bang or you want to bang. But lately I've sort of fallen down a rabbit hole, uh, a bang rabbit hole of sorts, and I've realized just how much bang content there is on the internet. Cuz before I thought it was just these sort of sponsored posts that influencers would do. They're so called bang influencers. There's so much more than that. There's bang influencers, there's bang music, bang concerts, and it goes all the way up to the CEO of Bang himself. So today I kinda wanna take you guys through it and show you what I found, cause to be honest, it's a pretty different marketing strategy. They got a lot going on. And one thing's for certain, I think at the end of this video, we're all gonna be craving a sip of that bang. Okay, so let's start off with this TikTok that was on my For You page recently. It's by this dude named Antoxme. And tonks me. It's called She Likes to Play Games. Hashtag Bang Energy at Bang Energy at Bang Energy CEO. Hey babe. Can you come crack my back? You know, if you keep doing this, you're gonna get hurt eventually. Probably. Are you good? Wake up, wake up. Stop. Quit playing. Quit playing. Okay, wake up. Wake up. Hey, why do all the comments on this TikTok say it's staged? What does that mean? There's no way this is staged. What the hell? I like that his reaction to supposedly thinking he just like broke this girl's spine is like, Are you good? Are you good? Wake up, wake up. Stop. Stop. Cut that out, what are you doing? That's weird. Also, I like that this appears to be an advertisement for this energy drink, and the way it's being advertised is like, fuck, I think I just killed my girlfriend. Hmm, should I call 911? Or take a sip of this bang? But also, is it just me, or does this dude not even take a sip of the bang? It kind of looks like he doesn't like how bang tastes, because he's just kind of like, hmm, mm, yep, that's enough for me. I think that's enough bang for me today. He's like, look, they're paying me to tag them, and show the bang in the video, but they're not paying me enough to taste this shit. No, no, no. Plus, then I wouldn't have any to pour all over my girlfriend's corpse, which is what I'm going to do next. Are you good? My dad's dream was always to have a huge TV, and I ended up breaking our old TV to surprise him with the one he wanted. Hey, Dad, I have a surprise for you right over here. Wait, okay, hold on. What? I feel like we just skipped over a lot of exposition. We're just gonna whiz past all that? Hey guys, I just broke my dad's TV with a crowbar. Don't ask why, it's not important. Also, at the beginning he said his dad's dream was always to own a big TV, but like, their TV was already big. They've already, got, he's already got a pretty big TV. It's almost like this dude is just admitting to breaking something that really means a lot to his dad. He's like, my dad spent years saving up for this really nice big TV. So in this video, I'm gonna chug a bang energy drink, smash that shit with a crowbar, and then buy him a new one with money that I made in a day. Cause I'm an influencer, and I'm way richer than my dumbass dad. It's a gift for me? Yep. It's for you. Oh, don't scare me. It's a big TV? Yep. At least they made it realistic that he guesses it's a TV before he opens it, because, like, obviously it is. If your influencer son breaks your TV with a crowbar and then shows you a TV-shaped box, I think it's pretty safe to assume that there's gonna be a TV in there. Also, I like that they're just not acknowledging this can of bang that's sitting on the box with the TV. The dad's doing a very good job of playing along with his son's brand deal. He even like peels the wrapping paper around the bang so as not to disturb the bang. Are you happy dad? I'm very happy. Well that was a nice heartwarming video I suppose, but I do feel like both of these Bang Energy ads didn't have anything to do with Bang Energy. Come to think of it, I don't think they've said anything about the Bang Energy drinks, like what it is or what it does. But that's okay, you know, I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it eventually. Let's let's watch a couple other videos about Bang Energy from other influencers, Bang influencers, Bang influencers, and see if we can get any more answers. Okay, there's this one by this dude named A. Patrick called I Can't Believe He Actually Drank It. Again, at Bang Energy, at bangenergy.ceo. Hashtag bang energy. So in this one, which is also definitely not staged, this dude Patrick is doing push-ups outside on a hot summer's day in a sweatshirt and jeans, which seems like a weird combination at first, but the jeans are ripped, so at least there's some ventilation. Then his friend comes along and sees this can of bang sitting next to Patrick and he takes a sip of it, cause we all know you can't resist a bang. But then Patrick gets up and wrings his sweat towel into his can of bang and his friend is like, oh, oh, 
Gross! You were pouring your sweat in that can? You know how when you work out and you got your sweaty sweat towel, you wring it into the tiny opening of a soda can? You know how that's a normal thing to do? Even though there's like a pool right next to you or you could just wring it out onto the floor, you wring it out into a little can. That way later when you're thirsty, you can drink it back to get all that water you lost. So wait, what kind of ad for an energy drink is this? Because when the friend drinks the bang, he's not like disgusted by the taste. He sort of just nods like, mmm, yep. That's what bang tastes like, yummy. And then only when he realizes that it's his friend's sweat, he gets grossed out. So, does bang just always taste like sweat? <laughs> Maybe he's like, oh, gross, my friend's sweat. I only like bang, which is made out of sweat, but not his sweat. It's the CEO's sweat. Mmm, that shit's good. Also, is that guy's feet okay? A lot of you are probably familiar with Q Park. He's a massively popular creator, and apparently, He's a bang influencer as well. Cause I clicked on the hashtag bang energy on TikTok so I could watch all of the bang related content. And this TikTok by him is at the very top of the bang energy hashtag. Go daddy go, we back to get out. Go daddy go, now pass it to my bro, let's go. If you had to guess, how many likes that TikTok has based on what you just saw, what would you say? Take a second to think about it and then write it down on a piece of paper. And then take that piece of paper and crumple it up and stick it up your butt. Cause this video has 18 million likes. I think this might be the most liked TikTok I've ever seen. I'm not even exaggerating. I don't think I've ever seen a TikTok with more than 10 million likes, let alone 18 million for for go daddy go. <laughs> Is this all you have to do to have like the most liked video ever? Just like take a can of bang to the streets and hum? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the video. But that's just because it's so funny how loud he is when he sings. <laughs> and how he dances. Hey guys, can we get this video to 18 million likes, please? I don't know how to do the thing with my butt, but just I think it's good enough, just like the video. So after watching these ads, there's a couple things that strike me as pretty odd, even for such a revolutionary product like Bang. First off, we can all agree that these are Almost definitely ads, right? These are, I mean, the people aren't just like posting these because they love Bang. They're definitely sponsored and being paid by Bang to post these. Because in every one, they like make sure to prominently display the Bang can, they tag Bang, they tag the CEO of Bang. But the weird thing is they don't ever say what Bang is. Like there's not, there's no talking points for that brand deal. Like every time I have a brand deal, there are very specific things I have to say about the product because the company wants people to like know and learn about what I'm advertising for them. But in all the TikToks you just watched, they never even so much as say the word bang. In fact, they kind of don't ever even acknowledge the bang. They're just like holding it close to the camera, but not saying anything about it and just kind of being like, It's kind of bizarre. I feel like there's, there must be something weird going on behind the scenes or something. What's up guys? Today I'm gonna be pulling an epic prank on my friend. I'm gonna be peeing in this delicious can of bang. No! Oh, yeah. Uh, this delicious can of... Can. Thank you. Dude, I don't understand. If we're doing an ad, why can't we just say bang? Hey! What are you trying to get us both killed? Let's just get this over with, all right? Just pee in the can, and then I drink it. Nobody's gotta say the B word. Oh, come on, dude. Well, you think we're gonna get killed for saying bang? What? No, no, no! You fool! Look what you've done! Oh, no! What? They've got snipers on the hill. We got visuals on the target, over. It's too late now. We're sitting ducks. All right, kill him. And that's how it all ended. There was nothing I could have done. But at least when it was all over, I went out with a bang. Whoa, wait, what are you guys doing in the studio? You said it again, motherfucker. No! What you said? For legal reasons, all that was a joke. And all the, the and this whole video is a joke. Also, it's kind of weird that they tag the CEO of the company in every sponsored post too, isn't it? I'm just imagining like doing a video for HelloFresh and then being like, hey, so we actually don't want you to talk about the product this time. Uh, we just want you to talk about our CEO. Can you just like tag him and hype him up a little bit? Oh, also, a lot of these might be illegal, because even though they're very clearly sponsored posts, they don't disclose anywhere that they're an ad. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a lawyer, and I don't know the Constitution. And I also, you know, have no way of knowing the kind of deal that these people have worked out with Bang. But, but just speaking from, like, what lawyers have told me, it is against FCC guidelines to post an ad without, like, the hashtag ad or hashtag sponsored or 
disclosing that the video is an ad in any way. So unless they're exploiting some like legal loophole that I don't know about, or they have some like really weird deal worked out with Bang where they don't pay them and they just send them energy drinks, then it seems kind of sus to me. Hold up everybody, cause you know what time it is? It's time for a Bang taste test. I've already finished filming this video, but I got kind of curious about what they actually taste like. So I went and got one and so I can do a little taste test because I'm sure you guys are probably curious too, right? You probably want to know what Bang tastes like. So they had a bunch of different flavors. They had like a peach flavor, birthday cake flavor. They they had a they had a ton of different flavors um, and all were pretty descriptive except for this one, which is called Radical Skedaddle. What is it called? Yeah, Radical Skedaddle. So I, well, I got this one because I thought it had the best name and because uh, I want to know what Radical Skedaddle Gadaddle is supposed to taste like. So up top it says super creatine, ultra COQ10 EAA aminos. I don't know what any of that shit means. All right, well, bottoms up, bangs up. Oh, wow. You know what? That's actually surprisingly good. Holy shit. It's kind of good. It does kind of have that like energy drink flavor that you get from like a Monster's Energy or a Red Bull or something. So if you're not into that, you probably wouldn't like it, but I'm surprised. I thought it was gonna taste like shit, but it's actually kind of good. So I feel kind of stupid now. Okay, update time. It's been maybe 20 minutes and I've been sitting here editing this video and I've sipped maybe like a quarter of the can. I've sipped, I've sipped probably about that much. Um, and I feel like I'm on a different planet. I don't know how much caffeine is in this thing, but I feel like I'm like shaking. I feel like I have to go run 10 miles right now. I kind of, I think my hand is actually shaking while I'm recording this video. I'm on like a different plane of existence right now. It tastes pretty good, so I don't want to stop drinking it, but I also... All right, well, that's the end of the taste review. I am kind of running on an empty stomach right now, so maybe that caffeine is just like going straight into my veins. But anyway, that's the review. Tastes decent, uh, transporting me to another dimension. Five out of 10. Now let's take one step further down the rabbit hole. We've examined the surface of this whole scheme, the bang influencers, the maybe illegally advertising Bang influencers. Let's take one step further down to Bang Energy's CEO. You've seen him tagged in all these posts. You're probably wondering what he's like. Why is he involved in this equation at all? So I went through his Instagram. A lot of his content is pretty mundane stuff. He's got like health and fitness related content where he's giving advice on like what supplements to take and why Bang Energy is so healthy because of all the ingredients it has in it. He's got pictures of him and his family where they're all dressed normal and he's dressed how I wish I could dress in middle school. Like this picture from Christmas morning, they're all wearing like nice Nice Christmas pajamas and he's wearing a backwards bang hat a bang Christmas shirt this gold chain Which actually has a giant ass bang emblem on it and these absolutely sick bang sneakers This dude is dripping with bang and I mean that metaphorically He's not actually dripping with the energy drink although it wouldn't surprise me if he also bathed in bang Oh, there's also all these videos of like what I'm really not sure what they are But they seem like just bang concerts where there's like a ton of people in the crowd the CEO of bang is is up on stage, of course, with that big chain, that big bang chain. There's dancers up there dancing in bang uniforms. They're like shooting money into the crowd and they're blasting this music that's talking about bang. I got that bang you want, that bang you want. I give it to you. So I don't know what's going on with that. I guess, that, I don't know, bang has this like really loyal cult following that goes to all these bang raves. The people in the crowds in these videos look like they're having the time of their life. There's also all these cool videos of the bang CEO shirtless working out. Yeah! <laughs> These are my favorite ones. <laughs> if you ain't training, you ain't gaining. If you ain't banging, you ain't hanging. Isn't that a Nicki Minaj lyric? If you ain't banging, we ain't hanging. Or it's, uh, if we hanging, we banging. Foam fanger, he slanging. It ain't karaoke night, but get the mic, cause I'm singing. There's something weird about that the energy in this video. The vibe is all off. This doesn't just seem like a regular workout video. I feel like the caption should be like, POV, I kidnapped you and you're watching me work out. <laughs> Where am I? If you ain't training, you ain't gaining. Uh, who are you? If you ain't banging, you ain't hanging. Oh shit. Is this because I said bang in my TikTok? Yeah. Look man, it was a mistake, okay? I, I promise. Come on man, let me go, please. I swear, I won't do it anymore. I, I promise. <coughs> That's one of his favorite moves at the end of a video. He'll be doing something pretty mundane like working out or, or like cracking open a can of bang. And then he'll just go up to the camera and punch it. 
and it seems like pretty hard. The camera guy's just like, stop fucking punching my camera, dude. I've had to buy like 15 cameras this month because you keep punching the lens. Come on, man. I pay you enough to buy a few extra cameras. Quit complaining. You've never paid me money. You pay me in cans of bang. Hey, man, if you ain't banging, then we ain't hanging. You gotta stop saying that, dude. It's really creepy. I know it's the name of your drink, but it just sounds wrong. Huh. I never thought about that. I guess that is the name of my drink. Friends, family, fans, and followers, this is how we make bang. Ooh an exclusive Bang Factory tour. Maybe we'll get to find out some inside secrets on how they make Bang. Okay, some machines with cans, very cool. Oh, cool, they go through a flashing light and then some go in a bucket. Cool, so that's good to know. When you drink Bang, you, get, you know that this has been in a flashing light and maybe in a bucket also. So that's, that's some really helpful information. What? I can't hear you. There's a lot of factory noise and also you're still playing music over this part. I'm starting to think that even he doesn't know how they make bang. He's not explaining anything. There's nothing going on on this tour. They're just showing like really complicated machinery and then it pans over and he's sort of just like, yeah, it's doing the, it's doing the thing, it's making bang. Damn, well, I still have no clue how they make bang, but one thing's for sure, it looks fun. <laughs> they go through a little rave and then and then a, and then a corkscrew, like a roller coaster. That's probably how they get it to taste so good. Those cans are having fun. So I'm not sure if you've noticed in any of these videos, but one of my favorite things about all of these videos on this dude's Instagram is that they have like custom bang music. And by custom bang music, I mean like pretty generic sounding house music or like rave music, but with some guy just saying like bang over it. I gotta keep that bang cause it gets me turned I know what time it is. It's bang time. This ad for their key lime pie flavor has a really good one too. Why does it sound like he's like whispering into the microphone like he doesn't want to be caught making the song? Bang. Bang. Sweetie, what are you doing in there? I, I swear I love it. I swear I love Bang. Are you talking about Bang again? And fun fact, I actually looked it up and Bang Energy is an artist on Spotify and they've got like, they've got like a few albums of music that's just like party music where that talks about Bang. One thing that I think is really funny is their top three songs are called Let It Bang, Let The Beat Bang and let the beat go bang. <laughs> All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this dive into the Bang Cinematic Universe. Now it's time to talk about our sponsor, HelloFresh. This video has been sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. No matter what's going on in the world, whether there's a pandemic or not, everybody gotta eat. That's my catchphrase, I say that all the time. Everybody gotta eat. Everybody got eat. But in order to eat, a lot of times you gotta cook or you gotta go out and drive somewhere and get something to eat. And both of those things, to me, usually aren't very fun. But HelloFresh takes a lot of the stress and the prepping out of cooking and actually makes it a pretty enjoyable experience, which is why I love HelloFresh. HelloFresh recipes are delicious. They have a huge variety of recipes, so you get something new every week. Plus they have low calorie recipes, carb smart recipes, vegetarian recipes, and even pescatarian recipes. So there should be something for everyone. Like I said, they take a lot of the stress out of prepping and cooking your meals. So you can get dinner on the table in as little as 30 minutes, sometimes even 20 with some of their quick and easy options. Another reason I really like them is because it's a pretty sustainable option. Since they pre-portion all the food they send you, that means less prep time, but also less food waste. And HelloFresh's carbon footprint is actually 25% less than store-bought grocery meals. It's super flexible. You can easily add meals, you can add lunches, you can add extras, easily change your delivery days or food preferences. And if that wasn't reason enough to love them, they donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019. And this year they're stepping up their food donation game amid the COVID crisis. So if you want to check them out, then go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 10 truly Greg to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com and code 10 truly Greg to get 10 free meals plus free shipping. That sounds like a great deal to me. We've used HelloFresh quite a bit during this pandemic, which is why I'm really happy to have them as a sponsor. So thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. And thank you to you guys for checking out HelloFresh. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And since this will be the last video of the year, I hope you enjoyed this year of videos. If you enjoyed the video and you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing and turning on my notifications to join Greg. The second you subscribe and turn on my notifications, you are legally Greg. Not only does your name legally change to Greg, but your lifestyle also changes to Greg. All right, well, since it's the last 
last video of the year, I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> or will I? Bye. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. Go find something else to watch. Or just watch this video. I again. know we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. But you can't stay on this end screen forever. No. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. So why are you still watching this?